We turn now to the visit by Pope Francis to Canada, where he is trying to right a wrong. The Pope greeted by the Prime Minister and leaders of the Indigenous community, apologizing for the Church's role in what was done to Indigenous families in the 19th and 20th centuries. More than 150,000 children were taken from their families and forced to attend religious schools where many suffered abuse. ABC's Marcus Moore is in Edmonton. Tonight, Pope Francis arriving in Western Canada as he fulfills a long-standing desire that the pontiff apologize on Canadian soil for the church's role in a system to cut indigenous children from their heritage over the course of more than 100 years. It was part of the Canadian government's goal at the time to better assimilate indigenous children into Canadian society. In 2015, Canada's National Center for Truth and Reconciliation released a report finding children were punished for speaking their own languages, abused physically and sexually, calling it cultural genocide. A survivor said, the only thing I learned in the residential school was how to hate myself. Tony Alexis is chief of the Alexis Nakota Sioux Nation. He's among those who called for Pope Francis to come and apologize in person. The Pope issued an apology from the Vatican earlier this year, but many still called for him to go further and to do so on Canadian soil. It's a validation of what has happened with the church and how they've uh, hurt and abused our people. The Pope's visit comes only a year after the discovery of hundreds of unmarked burials on the grounds of former residential schools, most believed to be the graves of children. It wasn't until the non-Indigenous community started to speak about it that it became public and that there was an urgency for this apology to happen here. Lindsay, the Pope has been suffering from knee pain. In fact, he canceled some of his other foreign travel, but not this trip, signaling the importance of this apology after decades of hurt. Lindsay. Marcus in Canada for us tonight. Thanks so much.